Welcome everyone. I'm here with the beautiful soul sister Sophie Sun, directly broadcasting from Bali, bringing in all this God energy. I'm so, so happy to have you here. And Sophie Sun is a dear soul that I met in my travels and nomadic life in Ibiza. And um, we connected right away. We have some friends in common. And Sophie, she is like a magic, obviously, because this was the first thing that I thought and I felt. But uh, also she works with Kundalini energies. She's a Kundalini energy facilitator and activator. And you also do trainings. You can talk more about it. And also she does transmissions and initiation journeys, which is like very juicy. Maybe you can add on to that. So how are you? And do you want to add on more to how I introduced you? Thank you so, so much, my dear Anna. It's so, um, yeah, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here and to share with all of you guys some of the magic that, um, yeah, I'm used to sharing in daily life. So thank you for this introduction. Indeed, I'm Kundalini Activation Facilitator. So I do facilitate transmissions of this frequency that is the Kundalini frequency, which is our life force energy. And so I do these transmissions in group or in one-one, and there can be online just like they can be in person, like I do in here in Bali. But here in this uh, program, uh, you're going to have some online. So this transmission is really an energy um, transmission, meaning that we are working with the frequency of our essence, our divine essence. Mm. You're coming to a space where you're fully letting go of the mind, laying down as if you were going in a, to a deep meditation. And I am becoming this antenna for the life force energy that is present everywhere in our space to come into an intensified frequency of it. And with this intensified frequency of the same life force that is inside of you and all around us, your entire system is adjusting and attuning to it. This is what we call the activation. And so your entire Kundalini and own life force are re is resonating and act self-activating through the resonance of the transmission uh, and the space I open. And so I also do, like you said, this initiation journeys, which are the facilitated uh, trainings. And so I offer these spaces for anyone who feel the calling, just like I felt it. And so many of us are feeling it mm. to fully embody the frequency because Kundalini, this life force, the more it's up activating inside of us and opening new pathways, the more it's allowing our consciousness to rise. And that enlightens so many dimensions of who we are and allows us to feel more free to feel more connected to have more aliveness in our body and to fully dissolve all the densities present here in the nervous system in the body so that we can fully grasp the blissful existence of who we are and embody that so it's a super powerful energy that we work with so that we can fully awaken and let go of all these things that we've been carried with us and are no longer in service to our evolution and mm -hmm. we are blessed right now to be able to access such a high frequency and uh, it's becoming more and more big in the world because more and more facilitators are being called our souls are remembering this magic and it's just about this, this. it's remembrance it's reclaiming the magical powers that we have as expressions of source as souls being having traveled so many dimensions and lifetimes and really having these codes inside of us so that we can help ourselves and others to yeah free be free again and be one again wow so it's really of love Sophie, like I had goosebumps all the way that you were talking I thought like she's giving an activation right now <laughs> You just speak and, and this is it. This is how magnetic you are. And, uh, you know, uh, while you were talking, I was trying to be really present, obviously, but uh, my mind works really fast as well. And I thought like, 
wow, like what a gift to give this to the seven women that are going to be part of this program. Because when we talk about harmonizing your vibration, this is like quintessentially what we are doing. Like we bring in again the harmony of the light that who we are through you as like, as you said, like you are setting, like opening the channel, but then they remember who they are themselves. So there is this remember remembrance and I feel... Uh, the rise of the light workers it's just happening more and more and uh, it is this is the only thread of hope that we have in this moment to be honest with you so it's a super powerful work and I am so excited to experience it with you and um, and for the women to experience it through you and to have it online because I also haven't done it online I have kundalini activation done before but not uh, online so it's new to me as well so thank you I would like to ask you uh, on the personal note when you uh, think about yourself like if someone asks you and I'm going to ask you that like what is the frequency that you embody most effortlessly what would you say mm. I would say pure love mm. yeah. and I say this because it's actually been a reflection of mine lately because a lot of my friends or um, the students of my trainings, um, my close ones, my family, they lately, they have all been saying that, oh, you are love. You are pure love. The frequency, the space you're opening is love. And I think this is what represents me the, the closest. Mm. Uh, my heart is really open. And this is the vibration that I always cultivate, that I always uh, give and, yeah, receive for myself. So, yeah. I feel pure. that. <laughs> I really feel that you truly embody that. I, I, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't have to add on that. And I, I also feel that in general, like the people that I, I, I attract, or because you know, like uh, this is how the universe works. You start attracting those ones that are in your frequency, right? That uh, emanate similar vibes. And um, I feel more and more that I can have a mirror of who I am through them. And it's like, oh, wow. I am also like this and uh, there is like a, a validation confirmation without asking for it but like the universe presenting it to you to continuously is like oh yes thank you universe I so I I am just bringing in this new friendships or collaborations that uh, are very similar to the vibration that I feel that I embody myself and so I also want to ask you um about sacred feminine energy because, <clears throat> sorry, the container that I'm creating this time is purely for women. And um, so there is something uh, about working with a sacred feminine energy that obviously is also part of the Kundalini energy and that uh, can really change how we feel, how we act, how we behave, uh, how we can release as you said the past and start transcending our beliefs so that we can operate from a new frequency and uh, create a complete new reality so um, how do you embody the feminine energy what does the feminine energy how yeah how do you feel it in your body mm, that's so interesting like the first thing that comes to me right now that I feel like sharing is that the kundalini session and co coming in touch with that part with that energy is the embodiment part of that mm -hmm. it's um it's really to feel through the body this aliveness this sensual uh perception of life of our existence because to me it happened this way the more my kundalini awoken the more my senses expanded and it's like i accessed new senses and in this way my entire sensuality evolved with it and I often talk about multidimensional presence because right now my sacred feminine energy, that's how it feels. It mm. feels very multidimensional. And um, yeah, in my body is still a beautiful exploration. I'm, I'm ongoing, but it's definitely very alive, very alive. And um, I feel it a lot through dancing for me. Every mm. time I'm dancing, the, the kundalini that I already tapped into is fully activated. And so there is this dance between the physical body, the energy, my heart. And mm. uh, yeah, it feels very sacred and very full. 
Mm, beautiful yeah I can relate to that a lot there has been times uh, I, I believe we have been like in similar circles dancing together but also especially with Ilona that you live with who is a friend that we have in common where I don't think I'm any of my humanness is there anymore it's just the goddess dancing through me completely <laughs> like taken um, from this like earthly life as I like, Wow. And in that moment, you really feel like I'm completely divine and I am embodying this through this vessel that has been given to me and uh, I'm operating through a completely different energy in this moment. So yeah, dancing and for me, it's also singing, like uh, the way the voice comes out sometimes like that is not my voice. And mm -hmm. uh where where did it come from so it's something that we're also going to work on on the program thank you for yeah. sharing if i asked you um do you have what comes to mind the first thing that comes to mind we just well we just it's like with three months in very much is the last day of february but the new year is still fresh and the 20th, 20th this year of march we start in the uh, astrological new year so there's another way of freshness coming through um do you have for this new year which is also the year of the dragon um a motto or like an affirmation that you're working on or maybe something's coming now that you know that you want to use going forward what is it mm. wow yes there is definitely a lot of mastery in this new energy coming in uh, mm -hmm. invite from life to mastery and oh there is so many aspects to it the one that comes right now yes it's the full oh it's in twice in two, in two parts but it's the same thing mm -hmm. it's the full knowing divine knowing the divine knowing of the goddess that you are that i am that we are mm -hmm. the divine of the full magic and the infinite potential that we really are so this knowing is not a belief anymore. It's not something I choose anymore. It's something I know and something mm -hmm. I claim. And then the other part for me through that, once we have that divine knowing fully embodied, because we decided there is nothing else of illusion that we choose to think about. We just come into the truth. Then there's a surrender, divine surrender to that truth. And mm. more as we let this unfold, especially with the super high frequencies and the divine helpers we are receiving all the time, there is a massive expansion of miracles granted and things that we have not lived yet for ourselves and for the world. Massive expansion in the way we do business, in the way we share our hearts, in the way we know ourselves. When we know the divine that we are and we surrender to it, knowing that all is perfect and only perfection is coming. And I really feel this is the theme right now. Or mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. And again, like I can resonate so much to what you're saying. Like I, I just, uh, I was sharing something the other day where I, um, but this came to me that um, if someone could believe that I can help them, to really uh, create a new reality just by being in my present and like whether this would sound so arrogant. And then like the point is that it would be more arrogant to think that we cannot do that because we would be stuck in our small selves, but the God and the goddess only made greatness. So actually it is not at all thinking arrogantly, but it's really reclaiming that uh, um, inner goddess with, within us. And um, obviously then there are ways of uh, working through lives that one can choose like to be like a big headed or not, because as you said, like you can keep expanding in your heart, but still have the strong knowing of who you are, right? So... Well, Sophie, yeah. I can speak a really long time with you. <laughs> I really love this conversation. They're very juicy, but for the sake of just sprinkling a little bit of your energy in it, and because everyone's lives are so busy, we're going to keep it this short. 
or this long. And I'm so grateful. I'm so looking forward for you to sharing uh, your class activation, your masterclass. And for now, uh, please send my love to Bali and send me some love from Bali, please, because I miss it so much. And I send you so much love. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. I was... Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a perfect day.